Devri Hayamim Shani. 2 Chronicles 29. Yahiz Kiyahu began to reign when he was five and twenty years old, and he reigned nine and twenty years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Aviahu, the daughter of Zachariahu. And he did that which was right in the sight of Yahweh, according to all that David his father had done. He, in the first year of his reign, in the first month, opened at the doors of the house of Yahweh, and repaired them. And he brought in at the priests and at the Leviim, and gathered them together into the east street, and said unto them, Hear me, ye Leviim. Sanctify now yourselves, and sanctify at the house of Yahweh Elohai of your fathers, and carry forth at the filthiness out of the holy place. For our fathers have transgressed and done that which was evil in the sight, rather in the eyes of Yahweh Eloheinu, and have forsaken him, and have turned away their faces from the habitation of Yahweh, and turned their backs. Also, they have shut up the doors of the porch, and put out at the lamps, and have not burned incense, nor offered burnt offerings into the holy place unto the Elohim of Yahshadael, wherefore the wrath of Yahuwah was upon Yahudah, and Yerushalayim, and he has delivered them to trouble, to astonishment, and to hissing, as ye see with your eyes. For lo, our fathers have fallen by the sword, and our sons and our daughters and our women are in captivity for this. Now it is in my heart to cut a covenant with Yahweh Elohim, of Yashar El, that his fierce wrath may turn away from us. My sons, be not now negligent, for Yahuwah has chosen you to stand before him, to serve him, and that ye should minister unto him and burn incense. Then the Leviim arose, Mechath, the son of Amasai, and Yoel, the son of Azariahu, of the sons of the Kohathim, and of the sons of Marai, Kish, the son of Avdi, and Azariahu, the son of Yahel El, and of the Gergashim, rather Gerashinim, Yoach, the son of Zima, and Idan, rather an Eden, the son of Yoach, and of the sons of Elit Safan, Shimri, and Yeiel, and of the sons of Ef Echef, Zechariahu, and Matanyahu, and of the sons of Heman, Yachiel, and Shimi, and of the sons of Yedathan, Shimeyahu, and Uziel, and they gathered at their brethren, and sanctified themselves, and came, according to the commandment of the king, by the words of Yahuwah, to cleanse the house of Yahuwah. And the priests went into the inner court, rather part of the house of Yahuwah, to cleanse it, and brought out at all the uncleanness that they found in the temple of Yahweh, into the court of the house of Yahweh, and the Leviim took it to carry it out abroad into the brook Kidran. Now they began on the first day of the first month to sanctify, and on the eighth day of the month came they to the porch of Yahweh. So they sanctified at the house of Yahweh in eight days. And in the sixteenth day of the first month, they made an end. 
Then they went in to Yaqiz Kiyahu, the king, and said, We have cleansed death all the house of Yahweh, and death the altar of burnt offering, with eth all the vessels thereof, and death the showbread table, with eth all the vessels thereof. Moreover, eth all the vessels which King Ahaz in his reign did cast away in his transgression have we prepared and sanctified, and behold, they are before the altar of Yahuwah. Then Yahiz Kiyahu, the king, rose early and gathered at the rulers of the city and went up to the house of Yahuwah. And they brought seven bullocks and seven rams and seven lambs and seven he-goats for a sin offering for the kingdom and for the sanctuary and for Yahudah. And he commanded the priests, the sons of Eharan, to offer them on the altar of Yahweh. So they killed the bullocks, and the priests received at the blood and sprinkled it on the altar. Likewise, when they had killed the rams, they sprinkled the blood upon the altar. They killed also the lambs, and they sprinkled the blood upon the altar. And they brought forth Eth, the he-goats, for the sin offering before the king and the assembly, and they laid their hands upon them. And the priests killed them, and they made reconciliation, Eth, with their blood upon the altar, to make an atonement for all Yashadael. For the king commanded that the burnt offering and the sin offering should be made for all Yashara'el. And he set at the Leviim in the house of Yahuwah with cymbals, with psalteries, and with harps, according to the commandment of David and of Gad, the king's seer, and Nathan, the prophet, for so was the commandment of Yahuwah by his prophets. And the Leviim stood with the instruments of David, and the priests with the trumpets. And Yahiz Kiyahu commanded to offer the burnt offering upon the altar. And when the burnt offering began, the song of Yahuwah began also with the trumpets. And with the instruments ordained by David, King of Yashara'el. And all the assembly worshipped, and the singers sang, and the trumpeters sounded, and all this continued until the burnt offering was finished. And when they had made an end of offering, the king and all that were present with him bowed themselves and worshipped. Moreover, Yahiz Kiyahu the king and the princes commanded the Leviim to sing praise unto Yahuwah with the words of David and of Echaf the seer. And they sang praises with gladness, and they bowed their heads and worshipped. Then Yahiz Kiyahu answered and said, Now ye have consecrated yourselves unto Yahuwah. Come near and bring sacrifices and thank offerings into the house of Yahuwah. And the assembly brought in sacrifices and thank offerings, and as many as were of a free heart burnt offerings. And the number of the burnt offerings which the assembly brought was threescore and ten bullocks, a hundred rams, and two hundred lambs. All these were for a burnt offering to Yahweh. And the consecrated things were six hundred oxen and three thousand sheep. But the priests were too few, so that they could not flay at all the burnt offerings. Wherefore their brethren, the Levayim, did help them till the work was ended, and until the other priests had sanctified themselves. For the Leviim were more upright in heart 
to sanctify themselves than the priests. And also the burnt offerings were in abundance with the fat of the peace offerings and the drink offerings for every burnt offering. So the service of the house of Yahuwah was set in order. And Yahiz ki Yahu rejoiced and all the people that Elohim had prepared the people for the thing was done suddenly. <laughs>